The term Programmable Automation Controller, or PAC, was coined basically as a way to distinguish industrial controllers based on computers from Programmable Logic Controllers, or PLCs. The difference between the two kinds of controllers could be particularly confusing because both of them could look physically a lot alike. The typical PLC is optimized to mimic the actions described by ladder logic. To do that, the PLC basically scans limit switches, proximity sensors, and other inputs from the industrial process every few milliseconds, looking for changes in their states. So the architecture of the PLC was devised primarily to handle the continual scanning of the inputs and actuation of the outputs. PC-based controllers have a completely different architecture than PLCs. Instead of continually scanning inputs, a PC-based controller will typically only look at switches or sensors when the control logic says to do so. And because PC-based controllers have a more general purpose architecture, they're relatively good at other computing or database tasks that come in handy for industrial processes, but which PLCs can have a harder time with. An example might be running an SQL database of part measurements or running a statistical filter on some kind of measured process parameter to determine the ingredient feeds going into the process. There can be some overlap between what PLCs do and what programmable automation controllers do, so that muddies the water as well. Finally, there's a difference between what programmable automation controllers do and what ordinary PCs do. One primary differentiator is that a pack can execute a program deterministically, where an ordinary PC can't. To understand what determinism means here, consider what can happen in an ordinary operating system like Windows. Windows can arbitrarily decide to slow things down or even suspend events from happening altogether while it goes off and updates itself. That kind of delay could be catastrophic when you're talking about industrial processes, but it never happens in the deterministic system of a pack.